Welcome Taurus. This is Renee. Welcome back. If you are returning, welcome, welcome. If you're new to my channel, um, you're welcome here. Uh, you, This is a safe place, okay? And let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, when I was um, meditating on your energy, Taurus, I was feeling the Six of Wands energy. So I feel like there's some sort of success. There's some sort of uh, victory that's happening for you. This is your reading for March 18th through the 31st. Um, so during that time, I feel like something is coming through. Something is going to be very successful. Um, give you some kind of victory. You're being recognized for something that you are doing. Okay, so let's take a look at the tarot. Let's get more messages for Taurus. Okay, so we have the Justice card. Okay, we have the King of Cups. Wow, the Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords. And the King of Pentacles. Wow, okay. Kings here, yeah. Okay, at the bottom we have the High Priestess. So I feel like, you know, there may be some kind of need for you to really trust yourself in this situation, to trust your intuition. I feel like something may be revealed to you, maybe that um, is kind of unexpected. Some kind of unexpected gift is coming your way, especially with this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and Ace of Pentacles, and the Justice card, you know. Uh, that's the feeling of being balanced. Something is being restored to you. Okay, so I feel like there's blessings coming in for you, Aries. Uh, excuse me, uh, Taurus. You may be dealing with an Aries. There may be an Aries on the way. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. Okay, and let's see. At the bottom here, we have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you're taking time out. To kind of enjoy yourself, to relax, have some kind of staycation, uh, really try to pamper yourself at the moment or feel rejuvenized from a situation. And I feel like you may be recovering with something being restored here. I feel like you may be recovering for, from a situation. Okay, and now Taurus, we have the Justice card, the King of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I really do feel like, you know, something is being restored to you. This is some kind of balance. This may also be love because someone is pouring their cup of love in your direction. Okay, they're emptying out their cup to you. And I feel like, you know, they're working very hard to get your attention. They may be, you know, putting a lot of time in maybe getting your attention, um, trying to impress you, trying to um, figure out how to get close to you, okay? Taurus, and I keep wanting to say Aries. There may be an Aries in in the cards for you now we do also do have other signs so it could be a libra or a water sign as well but i'm for some reason i'm getting a lot of aries energy here okay but i feel like you're getting justice you're getting the justice that you deserve taurus okay and this may be in love this may be in you know, something that you're doing, something that you love to do. Um, but I feel like something is coming in here bearing gifts. And I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. It's something that you don't think is going to happen. See, because this is the Nine of Swords, but this is the after tarot. So they're no longer afraid of these swords. They're no longer worried. They're battling their demons. So they're not you know, focused on what may be coming because they're, they're like working through these issues. Okay. But I feel like there's a gift. There's a gift coming for you. And I feel like it could increase your stability. It can increase your income, whatever this is, this is a loyal offering being made to you. This is someone who wants to support you in 
however you need to be supported at this moment okay um and I feel like what's coming in is going to be like a restoration. It's going to provide you with the ability to, you know, not have to focus on what this, what this is, what you've been battling, what, you know, maybe depression, uh, maybe fears or worry, you know, but I feel like, you know, you feel like you are covered you are protected so you're able to battle those demons effectively okay and i feel like you know it's helping you through your process look this is in between the ace of pentacles and the king of pentacles so whatever this is here in the middle i feel like you know it's it's you being refocused in a different direction maybe you need to take more time out maybe you need to you know focus on um taking better care of yourself taking better care of your needs okay so we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards for you taurus so let's go ahead and get some cards for this reading. Let's clarify this reading for Taurus. Okay, with the Justice card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. With the King of Cups, we have the Empress. Oh my goodness, beautiful. And with the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so... At the bottom, we have the High Priestess. So like I said, I feel like something is being revealed to you. Something is kind of moving your focus in the direction that it needs to go. Okay? And this may be the willingness to trust more in yourself and your abilities. But I feel like this High Priestess... The things that are being revealed to you, I feel like, you know, it's be, it's making you have this awareness, this shift in energy to where you're able to focus more on what you need to do next. Okay? So, I feel like that's very valuable information for you, Taurus. See, with the Justice card, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The King of Cups, we have the Empress. And with the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, whatever this situation is, I feel like you are building yourself up to be more fertile, to manifest more things in your life, to, you know, bring this long-term abundance. I feel like you're trying to become more stable in your finances. You know, you're actively manifesting, okay? And I feel like whatever you're doing, it's working. Look at this. We have wealth. We have wealth. We have abundance here. You know, look at all this fertile ground. And the, the ox here shows fertility, growth, wealth. Okay? Something is being manifested. And I feel like you are very fertile for this manifestation. You know, if you are manifesting love, I feel like you are the empress here. Okay, Taurus, you are the empress and you are manifesting your king. You know, you could be male or female. Take it how it resonates. But um, I feel like, you know, you are bringing something forward. Something that you are protecting. You know, you're coming into this balance, into this new awareness. You're actively working on something. And you're not working on something that's short term. You're working on something that's long term. Okay? The Four of Pentacles, this is long term stability. You're looking for that. You're actively working on it. Okay? So, I feel like you are in your power right now, Taurus. Okay, for the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords. Now look, the Nine of Swords together. Yeah, okay, we're going to get into that. We have the Seven of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Okay, at the bottom, we have the Hermit card. 
So I definitely feel like you are becoming more aware of something. You're being led by spirit to follow your wisdom, to follow your thinking. Um, maybe look within for the answers. Okay? Because I feel like, you know, he's being led by this candle. But he's walking past these keys right here. Do you see that? There's some keys in that water that he's walking past. If he just looks down, he'll be able to see the keys to whatever it is that he's searching for. But he's being led by his healing. He's being led by um, some kind of situation from the past. Maybe doubts. Maybe... Um, the feeling of not being worthy enough okay so now i'm i'm that's what i'm getting for this hermit card taurus okay i feel like you know you just need to be more aware of your surroundings you know uh don't be led so much by past events okay that's what i'm getting and I feel like that may have to do with this Nine of Swords because we have the Nine of Swords twice. Look at this. The Nine of Swords twice. I, I feel like you're being led by doubt. There's something that you're doubting. Here in this card, you are battling your demons. But here in this card, you're kind of grieving over these, these swords. You know, you're worrying too much. You're too caught in your head about situations. Okay? You need to let those swords um, worry about themselves. You know, don't worry so much about the things that you cannot change. Because that's not what you need to focus on. You need to focus on this here. You need to focus on this new venture, this new project, this new creativity. Okay? It's some kind of action that you need to take. There's action here. And I feel like it's very promising action. Okay, something is going to come through for you, maybe that you don't expect. But I feel like you are able to, you know, drop your priorities a bit and just carry this wand here. Look at this. This is the Ace of Wands that he's carrying. He's, he's lowering his guard. He's dropping those burdens. Okay, he's taking a chance on this one wand. Okay, so I feel like Spirit is letting you know it's time to let go of worry and take a chance. Because I feel like the chance that you're about to take is going to be very positive. You're going to get a positive result from this. Okay, okay, let's go ahead and get an outcome for Taurus. Let's get an outcome. Do we have for Taurus an outcome, please, Spirit? Okay, we have the Seven of Swords, we have the Moon, and we have the Five of Swords. Okay, okay. Now, let me tell you, Taurus, we also have the Five of Cups at the bottom. So I feel like there may be something that you're going to release. You may have ideas to work on, Taurus, but I feel like, you know, these ideas that may not work, there's going to be a few that do, okay? So take a chance and work at those ideas, build them up, you know, um, see where it goes, kind of throw things against the wall, see what sticks, okay? I feel like, you know, you are going to build up a strategy, that is going to bring the answers that you need. I feel like those answers may not be revealed at the moment, but I feel like, you know, building a strategy in this situation, kind of being aware of your surroundings, of just trying things out and seeing what works, is going to be very helpful. It's going to bring you victory. Okay? And I'm not seeing this Five of Swords as some kind of struggle. Although you may be struggling with ideas at the moment, I do see this as a victory for you. I do see this as you coming out ahead, as you, you know, making these changes. Okay? We're going to go ahead and elaborate just a little bit more because I want to know more about this situation. 
okay what else do we have for Taurus why is this seven of swords the moon and the five of swords here tell me more spirit tell me more about this reading okay the world card wow because you're ending a cycle okay you're ending a cycle that's going to bring you a lot more abundance that's going to bring you a lot more happiness a lot more fulfillment so i feel like just going through these motions is going to help you through this situation okay you also have the um a knight of swords at the bottom so you definitely are uh, becoming more aware becoming more clear on certain things that need to be done and i feel like once you get started once you get the ball rolling i feel like it's going to happen very quickly for you okay for some of you this may mean not to think too quickly about situations not to act too hastily okay you know but i feel like you know this situation is going to kind of move you into a new cycle you're going to have some kind of reward, some kind of abundance. You're going to be very happy in this situation. Okay, Taurus. Okay, beautiful energy. Let's go ahead and get some oracle cards and then we'll go ahead and end off with your angel number. Okay, let's get a monology card for Taurus. What do we have for Taurus? March 18th through the 31st. Okay, we have it's time to take action. Exactly what I was telling you. And look at this new moon in Aries. I was telling you, I feel like there's an Aries coming forward for you. Okay, and we have bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay, so like I said, there may be an Aries coming your way. Someone that you don't see coming, uh, Taurus. So that's very interesting. Okay, let's get a Manifestation Monology card. Manifestation Monology for Taurus. Okay, we have New Moon in Taurus. Know your worth. Okay, just, I, I believe I told you that, Taurus. I believe I was telling you that. Okay, and last quarter moon in cancer take a breather make sure you know not just focus on the things around you but make sure you aim some of that focus towards yourself you know take some time out if you need to relax rejuvenate you know um take time to be you okay let's get some angel cards for taurus what do we have for taurus Okay. we have helpful people so there may be some helpful people around you someone's coming in to help you through the situation and you know it may not be the right time for every venture but I feel like you're going to find something that is really going to work because the universe is telling you yes with some situation it may mean it may not be the right time for every situation but the universe is letting you know that you are ready okay so there's something that you need to focus on like i said if, if you need to taurus throw some things against the wall throw some ideas against the wall see what sticks see what feels right what feels good okay so let's get an angel number for Taurus. Let's get an angel number for Taurus, please. Okay, we have 222 two, two, balance. Now is the time to take inventory of your feelings. Are there any feelings of imbalance or resistance? Divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you. Breathe, rest, and reset. Okay? Your affirmation. What feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay? So, that is your reading, Doris. 
So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If this reading doesn't resonate all the way, feel free to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, I have those uploaded in a March playlist so they're easy for you to find. Okay, the next readings that I'm going to do are either going to be 48 hours or 72 hours, which you can expect. So make sure you keep an eye out for those. And until your next reading, Taurus, many, many blessings to you. Love and light.